Hi everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're having a really good weekend. If you're new here, my name's Melanie and I do food hauls. So I've been to Asda and Audi, but I've also got a couple of things from B&M that I'm going to show you. Before I get into this, I want to apologise for the noise. There is a few houses on my street who basically do nothing but antisocial behaviour. They think they own the entire street and they make as much noise and disturbance as they want without a care about what other people feel um, and unfortunately they're doing it now and there's a lot of noise from the children which is very heavily encouraged um, because the group of adults actually believe that they own the street and I live in a really nice area but sadly it's ruined by a few households who think and social behaviour is acceptable um, but they are all under investigation at the moment so you know, the fact that they're still doing it proves what kind of people they are. But I just wanted to put that in the video because you will hear children screaming. You will hear the adults laughing and really over the top. And the house that they're outside of is probably a good hundred foot away from my house. So, you know, I, I do know that you probably will pick up the sound. So, as the, I'm sorry, Audi, it's 55.27. As to was £127.70, you'll find out why. And B&M was £14. I can't show you one of the B&M items, but I will tell you what it is. There is two wraps missing, a small bottle of Pepsi Max, and some instant new no not noodles, porridge. Um, and that's all that's missing. And it is going dark outside because I've had the shopping hours. I have put stuff in the fridge which when I've filmed this part of the video, I'll put this shopping away and then get the stuff out the fridge. So I picked up two of these, Cadbury Plant Bar, made with almonds, salted caramel. They were 50p each, so I picked up two, but I do regret only getting two because probably next time I go, they won't have any. I've not had them before, but I normally like um, vegan chocolate anyway. I picked up one of these. I've not had one for ages. I used to use it all of the time. And I found in the cupboard the other day that I've got like a pack of four or five of these. So I was like, I'm going to have to get one because I've got all them. So I've got this now. And I've got a jar of Biscoff spread, just a little one. Um, I had one ages ago and I like it on crumpets, but I've not been in B&M for a while. And I also got a spade for some gardening because they're only £10. And I was meant to get one last year. And when I went to get one, they'd sold out and they never got them back in. And I thought £10 cheap. So I've picked one of them up. It is getting dark, but I don't want to put a light on because the antisocial neighbours are also harassers and they do harass me um, and other people on the street who don't agree with the behaviour. So I don't want them to know I'm in the kitchen because I don't want them to stand there because my kitchen's at the front of the house. So then I got some Sorine. I've already had one of these. I cannot believe how nice they are. If you've never tried these and you like strawberry, 100% recommend giving these a go. I was so glad that they had them in. Because I'd probably forget to look for them in Asda. I got some lightly salted hand-cooked crisps. I tried to get these last week. Couldn't find the salted ones, so I got those other ones for the person that I live with. I can't remember what they were. Were they like cheese and onion, but like a, a better sounding cheese and onion. They've still got a few of these left in. I hope there's some left next week because they're not a bad price and then they eat real organic lentil chips. I got some mini cheese bakes and some natural cheese fake Doritos. Some cheese twists. Peri peri rice. I had rice, and, well I had chicken and random things last week. I had chicken and rice and I put loads of like spices and stuff on the chicken. And I had chicken and vegetables so I'm going to be doing similar this week. Um, I saw this in the middle aisle, Worldwide Foods Special Spicy Mexican Style Rice. I've not even seen this one before. Then I got two cans of tuna in spring water, it should be. I don't like the other ones. I only used one can last week, but I feel like I'm going to have tuna quite a few times this week. I mean, who knows, I might be wrong. I got about 20 grams of these left, and I'm baking these things. If you go on Taming Twins and search for banana, I think they're called breakfast cookies, and they're basically rolled oats, peanut butter, oh, I forgot to get peanut butter. There's literally no peanut butter in this house. 
peanut butter, um, bananas, cinnamon, honey, and chocolate chips, I think. And they're really nice. So I needed chocolate chips. I saw this Diplomat Cherry Super Tea Protect Source of Vitamin D. I've never had this one before. It's actually getting dark in here. I might actually put, have to put the light on. But it's very risky with these neighbours. When I used to put the light on, they'd be across here like a shot. So I'm hoping they're too engrossed in the antisocial behaviour to notice me. Does anyone else have issues like this on a street from about four houses? Um, where they think they own it and everyone else has to suffer? So I've actually... Oh, I've got... Do you know what? I've not had a herbal tea for a few weeks. Um, I go through phases where I'll have one every day or two, depending on how I feel. Then I won't have any for weeks. And I've even gone off normal tea and I'm just basically drinking coffee. So I just saw that and I was intrigued because I don't think I've had a cherry flavour tea before. Then, if you know, you know I get these every week. I don't think I've been through a full, full packet this week. Well, I probably have been through a full packet. Probably took one upstairs. Paracetamol, that's got some on it, a bit of food. Um, I just have these as spare in case I can't get Panadol or I run out of Panadol. Then, I've never seen these before. Let me know if they're new because it doesn't like say new on it. But they had like a few different ones. And I thought I'd try this. I mean, I, I'm hoping it's kind of like a barbecue kind of flavouring. Um, I think it wasn't super cheap but it's a tin and there's a lot in it. This is just the cheapest clear honey that they do. And this is what I've been using to bake with. Like I wouldn't use... Well, I, can't, I would put it in stuff, but I prefer Manuka honey. Which I actually need to get some at some point because I ran out of it ages ago. But yeah, that's what I've been using in those breakfast cookies. I don't know if I said honey is an ingredient, but it is. Then a naked green curry egg noodles. And um, for the person that I live with just to take to the office in case they want something for lunch. I got a Passata because I used one up this week, so I've just basically replaced it and they've still got a few left. Then we're going to go on to Asda. Um, obviously, I, like I said, there is some stuff in the fridge. I mean, I don't know how much, but I'm going to film all this, put it away, and then I'll get the stuff out of the fridge. So I got some Nurofen and they just have these Panadol, but it's better than nothing. I got some parcel tape. I did go to the shop in the week and I have filmed a video and it's not gone up. So it'll probably hopefully go up next week, if not. I accidentally bought one that was £3.50, a branded one. I think the brand's called Sellotape or something. And I thought it said one fifty, and I'm like, I'm not paying three fifty for it. And these were one fifty. Um, If I do put the video up, you'll know what it's for. Like, it doesn't need to be super, super sticky. So I've just gone with them. Then I got these disposable razors these were the ones that were on offer this week um i was hoping some better ones were on offer but these are better than the cheapest ones that they do i got some misfits because her favorite ones which if you watch my videos you'll know what they are they weren't in stock i got another pack of the cookies i got the dental chews and i got the jump bones Red onions, these seem to be on off at the moment. Were they like 50 or 60p? Two loose carrots, a bunch of bananas, I think there's five there. Two lots of grapes, again I've gone for black and red. Then I've got the Nescafe Caramel Latte. Um, some chocolate rice cakes. These were on offer again, two for two pounds, so I basically got them for the cupboard because they're really nice. There is a dairy milk salted caramel bar there and one of those soft nugget salted caramel bars that I really like. Got in there, pads. Mine are getting low. I don't know how low, but I know they're getting low. So when I spotted them, because I wasn't looking for them, when I spotted them, I thought, oh, I'll get them. Hot dogs. I can't. I call them something else to the dog because sometimes I refer to her as a hot dog. Do you know when she comes in and she's hot and I'm like, oh, you're a hot dog. I don't literally mean a hot dog. So I didn't want to confuse her. So I do call them the S word. Um, but yeah, she used to have one a day, but like I forget some days. So they do last longer. I did get two Dr. Pepper Zeros. I have had one because I've had the food hours and I've actually eaten. 
and I got one Lucozade because I've still got that big bottle of Lucozade because I've not been unwell. See what I mean? They're actually sending the children past because I actually live on a little turn off off the main part of the street. So there's a street which is a cul-de-sac and then there's loads of little turn offs with a few houses on, like there's six on here, there's some with like four on. Um, and the children never ever used to come on here, but recently, since they found out they were under investigation for antisocial behaviour, they've been getting the children to do antisocial behaviour, thinking that the children can get away with it. But if they're over 10, they can't, and if they're under 10, the parents are responsible, so it doesn't make sense why you would encourage bad behaviour from your children, but... Unfortunately, this is what's gone on for two years on here. So I have these on dog walks. They're kind of, they're meant to be like glucose. They're not bad. Like, if that was a 10 out of 10, I'd give them a 7 to 8, depending on the day. It does work out cheaper. I think four of them is similar to one of them. I think that's slightly more. Um, but I do prefer that one. I think I still have some of them left. Maybe one, one and a half. I got three for three pound on the Pepsi Max because I think we're fully out of them. I mean, they're not for me anyway. I got two of these because they're on offer for a pound each and I really, really do enjoy these. Um, I think I got four apple and elderflower. If you've been in Aldi, you'll see how they're stacked up and it's hard to get to the under layer if there's still loads on the top layer. And on the top layer, there was quite a lot of bottles left but there wasn't the ones that I was looking for. So I really struggled to get to the bottom layer to get drinks. So I only got four of them and one summer fruits. But I still have one bottle from last week, so I should have enough. I got the vitamin drink in orange, mango and passion fruit. A small bottle of Diet Coke. Then I got the 12 pack of water from Aldi. And this is a lot better than the Asda one. Like I just prefer the flavour of this or the taste of it. The Asda one, it's got like a dry taste to it, like a kind of, I don't know how to describe it, but I don't like to try, like I don't like it when it's not cold. Would you like to say hello? Are you coming to say hello? Are you coming to help? Are you? It's because I'm near her T-R-E-A-T -E drawer and she's just had some out of it, so. Haven't you? You're not having anything else, no. I got, from Asda, I got four coconut oil toilet rolls. And I got a pack of six crumpets. I did go to the shop in the week. And if that video goes up, you'll know that I did buy a pack of crumpets then. The thing that made the shopping really expensive today was this, which, would you like some food cooked in the air fryer? Would you? Hey, hey. I've wanted an air fryer for a long time and I really want the tower, is it Vortex or something? It looks identical to the Ninja one where it's got two drawers and it's digital and it's £150. And every time it goes on offer for £100, it's never in, it's never in stock anywhere. And when I knew I was going to get an air fryer today, I knew I was going to go to B&M and I looked and that exact air fryer was on offer for £100 and I went and looked for it and of course the shelf was empty and I didn't really want any of the others that were in there but I knew I wanted this one from Asda if it was in because I did want a bigger one, I didn't want a little one. Um, I did obviously want one with two drawers on and that's why I wanted the, the Tower Vortex or whatever it's called. So then I can cook two different things. And I know like if I'm cooking something here, I could probably put something else in with it if I wanted to. Um, this was £59. And it's non-stick, 6.2 litre capacity, four to six portions, no oil needed. Um, it is digital, digital display with touchscreen panel, variable temperature control, 6.2 litre removable basket, eight preset functions. So... I mean, at some point, I'm probably going to want to get the one that I want. But I'm probably going to have this for a while because I don't want to just buy one for the sake of having it. Um, and I'm now going to have to move my kitchen surfaces around because I want this where the toaster is. So the toaster is going to have to be moved to a, the other side of the cooker, which needs a massive clear out to be able to fit it on there. 
so yeah but this is going to save money because i'm trying to put the oven on as less as possible but the person that i live with has been using the mini deep fat fryer if you've watched that video and like they're sick of cooking everything in the mini deep fat fryer well they do put a few things in the oven but sometimes they have the oven on for an extreme amount of time and our electric bill has been bigger than the gas bill which never ever happened before so yeah i picked this up and i did read the reviews on the as the no the george website where you can buy clothes and homeware and stuff and because i was originally looking at the cheaper one and then this one had a like a, a well over a thousand five star reviews so this is the one that we went with well i went with because i was there in the freezer is fruit spiral lollies and bubblegum ones which i've already had one because i had a long walk in the sun with the dog and it was too hot when i came home right i've got the food i've got the food out of the fridge so i got two of these well one packet but there's two roast chicken breast fillets i have that with sandwiches or with salad as a lunch as a lunch then i spotted this i was like looking desperately for things to get the shop asda was very busy asda was super busy the shelves weren't very full it was hard to find things but i saw these i don't think i've ever had these before well this brand anyway Simply chicken tenders, chicken breast strips in a crispy breaded coating. And then I got a big pack of chicken breast fillets. Now I had these last week and they weren't the best quality. There was a lot of gristle in them, like I wasn't impressed. I got a cucumber. The person that I live with asked for cod like in breadcrumbs, they didn't have any. Audi only had a four pack and it was the cheaper ones that aren't as good. I've had these before. It's a slightly stronger flavoured fish, but you know, it's better than nothing. I got a sweet and crunchy salad from Audi. I got a pepperoni pizza. I've also had a barbecue one, but I had it today. These pizzas aren't great, but they're okay. So two salmon and spinach, two, two salmon, spinach and lemon fish cakes for the person that I live with. Some corned beef for them. I got four of these but I didn't get them all out of the fridge because it's kind of time consuming getting the shopping back out of the fridge. I got one strawberry mousse. These are delicious. Oh my god, it is really nice. Apparently the lemon one's nice but I'm not a normal lemon kind of fan. But I might get it at some point. I got this protein milkshake in salted caramel of course i got salted caramel i've never had it before i got the seed of granola protein in strawberry which i really really like she went looking for these i've actually had one of these i think they were 250 and they did victoria sponge which typically i would get carrot cake was my favorite like dessert for years and years like as a teenager um probably from the age of 15 to maybe 21 22 maybe 21 I still like a nice carrot cake. These are quite nice actually. And yeah, definitely worth the 250. I'll probably get the Victoria Sponge next time, but they're not super cheap. But I did I saw them online somewhere and I was like, I'm gonna see if they've got them, and they actually did. And that I believe, oh, I did get from Asda, I got two lots of plants, you know, planting like pots outside. That's the dog taking the lid off an empty bottle. Um, I got two different ones. One was marigold and the other one, maybe chrysanthemums. I can't even say it. I think they were two eighty five a tray, which is actually more expensive than Asda because Asda's free for £5. But when I tried to get some last week, most of them, like even the ones that look half decent, they looked a bit dead around the edges. So I got two lots of them. I might get more. I've got things to plant them in. And then in Asda, I got a hanging basket, um, and it was a summer mix. Like, it's, it weren't one specific flower, but the purple. So that's hung up. The other ones need planting, but I need some comp not compost. And it's not called soil either. Whatever it's called, I can't even think of the word. So I got them as well. But the, other than them, that is everything that I got this week. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. If you're new to my channel or you watch my videos but you aren't subscribed, Please subscribe, don't forget to press the bell notification button to get an alert when I upload. I'll be back in a week's time with my next weekly food haul. Have a fantastic week and so much and thank you so much for watching.